Hey guys, welcome to my fan art video of In Hyphens J. So in this video, you're just gonna see my speed paint of it, and I'm just gonna kind of explain of the techniques that I use. I am new to digital art, so um, there still might be things you can learn, but just know I'm very much a amateur. So let's get into the video. So here you can see I use this reference on this to the right hand corner you can see it and I just put that there so you guys can kind of see what I'm looking at to see what I changed and also um, like the angles that I was using and why I made the choices I did um, so I, before um, starting this I actually watched this video on YouTube that taught me about like quote unquote painterly style and it was a lot about analyzing the shapes of shadows and light and how they interact with each other so here you could see me kind of sketching out the shape of the shadow on the left side of his face and this is like my first time doing this painterly style so although I was like inexperienced it was really fun to learn how to kind of paint because I'm very used to traditional art um, drawing, not really painting. I was never really good at that. Um, but since I started digital art, I really like the differences in that if I make a mistake, I can just, um, you know, trace it and select and modify it in any way I want without leaving a mark of my past mistakes. Like usually what happened whenever I make pencil drawing or something. So, um, here you can see I'm kind of, um, I was trying to kind of airbrush, um, everything by using the smudge tool in Procreate, which is what I'm using here, and trying to make it look more realistic, because that was the style I was going for, like a realistic style, but also adding in the aesthetics of, um, like having a pink look to it at the end i add like some blue highlights um because i don't know if that's an aesthetic that exists but like the pink and the blue lights like in the club or something i'm not sure but that's the type of vibe i'm going for so those are the only two colors i really use in this drawing other than maybe highlights of white so you can see here I realized some of his features weren't really fitting, the shape of his face didn't really fit the reference photo I was using, so I would adjust it um, using the trace tool that I selected. I would just move it around, you know, kind of like puzzle pieces. So I'm just airbrushing his features still. Yeah, so talking about um, in hyphens J. I got into an hyphen probably like in 2021, so like the second year, or technically it's their first year of debut because they debuted at the later end of 2020. And so I was kind of late, but not really in the grand scheme of things. I got into them first when I heard their music on actually Rhythm Hive, which is a very um, strange way to get into a group, but. They were on the same um, beat game app as BTS because they're in the same company. And I was hearing their music. I was like, wow, they're really good. And that's when I wanted to learn more about the members. And as I watched more content from them, I really like their dynamics. They are a little bit different from other groups because they have more of a boyish vibe, very young very kind to each other but you know they're very playful and um competitive and they're still in the phase where they still like argue with each other so they're a lot more friends but i think recently they've been really growing into family so it's nice to see that um i really want to see more content for them they recently had their comeback with the dark blood album i really like this album my favorite song is probably um, the title track, um, Bite Me. I really love that song. Um, 
I think in this comeback, all the members really um, kind of shown with their talents. I think they're really used to like their area of expertise, how to use their voice when singing, when rapping. Um, I think they're all very great dancers. Um, they're really talented. So if you don't um, really aren't really familiar with the group, you should definitely check out Hyphen. But yeah, I really like them. And my second favorite song from this album would be Bills. I think it was really well done. Um, especially He Sings voice in that song. It's so amazing. Yeah, so I'd say Jay is definitely my bias, but He Sing is my bias record. He's just so talented. He's a great ace. Um, but yeah, going back to this, um, Speed Paint. Um... I've just been, you guys might not be really able to notice what I'm doing because a lot of the detail work I did by zooming in and then um, just like using a small size. Um, I just, for this whole art piece, I used a basic round um, brush, round tip brush in Procreate. So I just used that and I would just adjust the sizes. Sometimes for um areas that i thought looked too like mm, sharp of a line i would use the smudge tool and kind of um give it that airbrush look so for my technique i'd say i'm like not really consistent other than using the same brush because as i said this is like the first time i've done this type of style and also i haven't even done that many works of art um, digitally at least, so, I think it came out pretty good, um, you know, you guys can tell me in the comments what you think, but, um, yeah. So you can see here, at this point, I'm starting to um, redefine the shapes of the light versus the shadow. I was focusing on his chin here, then I'm going around his lips. Um, yeah, because as I analyzed the reference photo, I noticed that um, whenever I used the smudge tool trying to airbrush, my art piece I would kind of lose the kind of distinct shapes um in this way like I think the video I watched in learning about this painterly style um really introduced like a new look on like art because although I was used to looking at a reference or trying to draw something exactly um, I didn't really think of it as like a bunch of shapes um, and kind of borders between shadow and um, light. So here I'm going over more detail work as you can see. Um, as I said earlier, I really didn't think his sh face shape really matched to the reference photo. So I'm using that trace tool again. And then here you can see me like cleaning up the edges. All you need to do really is just use the smudge tool on a like a decent enough size to kind of brush over those colors over that border between like the white that I cut out. Um, darkening up the left side of his face. Oh, and that was a big change right there. Um, using the smudge, changing it a bit. And then sometimes when the smudge wouldn't work, all you gotta do is just use the color dropper tool um, on an adjacent um, place and then paint it with 
and then use the color that's adjacent and just paint regularly um so like you don't have to keep going into the procreate um color choosing you could just just use the dropper the whole time because when you're doing like painting style um it's hard to like find the perfect color so here you can see me i'm doing a lot of selecting and adjusting um a tool that i really liked using was the selection tool and then you um can adjust the sizing if you wanted um instead of doing like a uniform selection and kind of changing the whole size of everything i would distort it so that's how i was able to get more correct shape um maybe in the future i can record like actually do a screen recording while i'm painting but for this video it's just speed paint um since i didn't really feel qualified to like teach while this is a whole trial of an in and of itself so going back into those shadows and the details in the eye area so the reason why i was really trying to keep returning to these details is because um i feel like it didn't really look like jay although he looked very handsome he didn't really look like jay to me it kind of reminded me of um, jungkook's face um but you know at this point i took a break and i worked on the background and his clothes i didn't really want his clothes to be too um detailed or have any like pattern on it because i wanted his face to kind of be the main piece i guess of the art so i'm just making like a basic outline in pretty um similar shades to his face um so that would still be the center of attention here is where i added in the blue light as I said in the beginning, I wanted it to be like a pink and blue light, lighted room that he's in. Here, I'm trying to add the same light source as in the reference, but I was like, I really, this is not really matching the clean style that I wanted, and I didn't really know how to make it look a fire, like a firecracker, so I just opted for some lasers. Here, I just drew them by like using the straight line tool. Drawing a blue line, then drawing a, a smaller white line in the middle, then another blue line on top, um, and then using Gaussian blur to make it look like it was glowing. And I did that for all of those. And I think it came out pretty good. It looks like a laser. Then I did some more Gaussian blur on the um, outlines on his face. Here, just add my logo and my Instagram handle. Follow me if you guys want. And that's the end of the video. So I really guys hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments what you think down below. Please subscribe to see more content from me in the future. Bye for now.